And although Black Friday is still more than two weeks away, some of this year's hottest items are already sold out. But the shortage may not be a bad thing for some of the nation's most recognizable retailers and toy makers during their most important season of the year. Courtney Reagan tells why. Tis the season for holiday headaches. Procrastinators beware. The National Retail Federation says 40% of shoppers have already started their holiday shopping before Halloween, leaving many items already in short supply, even though Black Friday is still more than two weeks away. For the second straight holiday season, the iconic L.L. Bean boots are extremely limited in supply, with some styles back ordered until the end of February 2016. Jim Silver, CEO of consumer review site TTPM, says many Many Lego products are selling phenomenally, as are the Paw Patrol toys. Disney says Star Wars collectibles are early bestsellers, like the die-cast figures sold only at the Disney store. The Fisher-Price Beep Bow baby toy is back-ordered until November 20th. So with early sellouts already making headlines, industry watchers are telling shoppers, don't wait. We are seeing robust sales. We are seeing online sellers having a much bigger role. Um, so as a shopper, don't wait for that last minute sale. I know that's a, that's a temptation to kind of, all right, I'm going to hedge my bets till that last minute. If there's a toy your child really, really wants, err on the side of buying that early. The fashionista on your list might be disappointed when no Balmain for H&M items are unwrapped. Most of those items sold out in minutes in stores and online when launched around the world last week. Tech toys are hot too. The Sky Viper camera drone currently unavailable on Amazon with spotty availability at Toys R Us over the last several days. According to a survey by Fusion Ops, consumers say a shortage of in-demand smartphones will cause them the biggest problems, followed by shortages for video games, Guitar Hero Live, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and Star Wars Battlefront. Many retail experts think inventory levels are a bit higher than last year, in part due to forecast for a decent holiday sales year, plus elevated inventories in the aftermath of last year's West Coast port congestion. But predicting demand and ordering the appropriate supply is both a science and an art. Too much inventory is a financial burden for retailers. Too little can leave shoppers disappointed. Sellouts can create positive buzz for manufacturers and retailers involved, but too many empty-handed shoppers isn't good either. For most, the goal is to match supply and demand as closely as possible, though ultimately, hot items can be hard to predict. Shoppers be warned, one in four Americans surveyed by Fusion Ops say they'd be willing to play dirty. That's what it takes to walk out of a store with the last hot holiday gift. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Courtney Reagan in San Francisco.